for Highway 3. Welcome back to West Texas View. The fact that you can't build a project. Welcome back to the West Texas View. I'm Johnny Lou Avery, and Dr. Melinda Morris has been giving us some wonderful information about uh, our vitamin regimen and how essential vitamins are to our body and how important it is for us to understand how they work but also understand what our levels of need are and since we don't get out in the sunshine as much and since we don't drink um, milk as much and since we don't we eat so much processed foods where all the essential me uh, minerals and vitamins are processed away that it's, it's imperative that we take uh, supplements and we start Dr. Morris with a very good multi-purpose vitamin and, I, and for me at my aging stage I take one designed for women mm -hmm. and and so it's important for men to take am I correct to take one designed for men when they reach a certain age yeah. and you know and some ladies take vitamins and it upsets their stomach uh -huh. or doesn't agree with them. I mean, I even have with the obstetrical patients, you know, they'll take the prenatal vitamin and it upsets their stomach. So if, if you're taking a vitamin that doesn't agree with you, you need to switch to a different form. Mm -hmm. um, you need to switch to a different brand. It, it could be the fillers. It could be the way it's processed. It, it could be a, a di specific ingredient in that vitamin that's just not agreeing mm -hmm. with you. So don't continue to take a vitamin if it's upsetting your stomach or you don't feel well after you take it. Yeah, it's like blood pressure medicines. They've got several different kinds, and so some you can't take and some you can't. Yeah. But if you need it, you need it. Uh, but I had, uh, when I was taking iron tablets, the first this time of I, couldn't, News West I would have really bad headaches. Mm -hmm. And so he said, well, what you store. need is a slow Take release mm -hmm. by uh, uh, crunchy, juicy, iron tablet. And that was just the amazing answer. And I never had any more problems. And, you know, iron is irritating to the stomach. And some ladies do have difficulty taking the iron supplement. Plus it causes constipation. So you need to switch to a form that's a little gentler, that slow release is absorbed. And a little bit Express. easier, We've lowered so there are different forms to where you can still get the benefits of taking that supplement without suffering the adverse side effects from it. And you don't need to, is what you're saying. They've got different, 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 different things for different types of bodies. So, but I know that when I had my chance in the hospital, I started early on the hospital. I know that when I had my child, I started early on the hospital. Only 79 cents a square foot at Midtex of Midland. Vitamins when she was just a tiny little baby, a little kid, and um, and so is that is that a lifelong process? Then you start the long baby vitamins and go all the way up. From well, you know, when I take care of obstetrical patients, you know, they're very concerned about their health. They're very concerned about their diet. They want the baby to be healthy. Yeah, then the baby's born and the baby goes on, you know, either breast milk uh, or formula, which is full of nutrition, full of vitamins. And then the, the babies get to toddler stage. And, and as soon as they can start eating food, their diet starts to change, you know, and toddlers are eating french fries and chicken nuggets, and they're not eating vegetables. And so, you know, they were having so much nutrition, you know, through infancy and that early toddler stage being on formula, and then they start going, eating regular processed food, which has no nutrition in it. And the parents need to, you know, be aware of that, um, you know, because they were so concerned about the nutrition as the infant, but they need to be just as concerned about the nutrition, you know, as a toddler and, and school age children. Preteen and teen yeah. when their hormones are changing so you know, fast. So, so with, with our current processed foods, uh, you know, unless you're feeding your children organic meals on a daily basis, they're not getting the vitamins and minerals mm -hmm. that they need in their food. You know, and unfortunately, what they're getting at school isn't mm -hmm. nutritious as well. You know, so the children need need vitamins uh, on a regular basis, and now they have those little gummy, the little gummy vitamins uh -huh. for them, uh -huh. so it's easier for them yeah. to take. But you know, they the parents have to maintain that extra uh -huh. nutrition for but, the kids. But it's also the parents' responsibility to understand nutrition themselves, mm -hmm. so they understand why 
the processed foods are not good. But you know, an interesting aside from that is I have a good friend who is a dietitian in the public schools. Mm -hmm. And so she plans all the meals for the public schools. And of course, uh, the government has really tried to move uh, the school lunches to a more uh, nutritional uh, thing. And she said, it, it's wonderful and I concur with it 100%. But she said, the kids, take this junk, f uh, this uh, food, this nutrition food and throw it away. Yeah. And, and so we have just barrels yeah. of thrown away food because yeah. they won't eat it. And that's really sad. And what happens is that by age two to three, a child has already developed their taste for food. Uh -huh. And so that's when it's the most important to be feeding children healthy food, uh -huh. um, meats and vegetables, exposing them to Lentils a lot of different and, types of yeah. foods, that sort of thing. Because, you know, if, if they get used to just eating fast processed food, then that's what they've acquired a taste uh -huh. for and that's what they want to eat. And they don't want to even taste of a banana or an orange or an apple or anything So like it's that. so important at that early age where, you know, when you're first transitioning them, you know, to table food, that you're exposing them to, to lots of uh -huh. healthy food. Because, you know, as babies, you know, you're buying all that nutritious food in the little baby jars and the baby food and that sort of thing, you know, but as soon as they've outgrown that and they process over to just eating regular table food, then you're exposing them to just the processed foods. Uh -huh. And if that's what they acquire a taste for, then that's what they're gonna eat. And, and they're not gonna understand that that food isn't healthy for uh -huh. them because that's what they're used to eating and that they just assume that's what they're supposed to eat. I mean, it's very difficult taking care of these young obstetrical patients and trying to explain healthy diets to them uh -huh. because they think a hamburger and fries is a healthy uh -huh. diet. I'm getting the lettuce and tomatoes. And <laughs> yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting my greens with the lettuce and pickles. No, no you matter know, that I'm getting and, so much and, sodium. And ketchup. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we, we need so much education, uh, and, and it has to start at a very early age. Uh -huh. um, that, that's where it has to begin. And, you know, that's part of being a parent is it's so important to take that responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I explained to the parents, they are responsible. I mean, oh. just, just go home and open up the pantry and see what's in the pantry. Just throw it all away. And, uh, and they'll say, well, my eight-year-old daughter, she doesn't want to eat, you know, these foods. And I said, well, you're the one that's going to the grocery store. You're the one that's uh -huh. buying food. You know, so you can bring in the healthy food. Uh -huh. And <laughs> now once she's a teenager and she has a car, then, right. then all bets are off. That's why that, that but but awesome. until then, you actually get to control what they eat. This, is, this <laughs> has been such a great education on vitamins, and I hope that uh, all of you who are thinking about parenthood or who are already parents or who are my age and, and look back and see some of the things that you've missed out and, and, uh, and what you need to know about your own vitamin levels. Uh, we're going to ask Dr. Melinda Morris to come back next week and do one more program because now we're going to answer all the questions that you sent in. So we'll see you next week with another program. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us for News West 9's West Texas View with Johnny Lou Avery. This has been a public affairs presentation of KWAB-TV and KWES-TV.